Hey guys, today I wanted to give you my top tips on how to get stuff done during some very busy times. Uh, for me right now, I'm right in the middle of packing. We are moving next week and so needless to say, I'm very tired and pretty overwhelmed with pretty much my whole life. But how do I still manage to get my workouts in, my nutrition in, and get all my tasks done? That is what I wanted to share with you guys. So in case you don't know who I am, my name is Angie, and um, I just pretty much thrive on helping as many people as I can on a daily basis. So whether that is through health, fitness, nutrition, just leading by example, or just giving as many tips as I can, that's what I love to do, that's what I'm here for. And so, in the middle of this packing, I was trying to figure out of how I could basically help people that are in the same situation as I am. And I'm pretty disciplined when it comes to getting task lists done and getting organized and stuff just because I'm kind of built that way. Um, so I was trying to figure out a way to explain it the best I could to you guys. And so this is what I've come up with. So at night before I go to bed, um, and as my day goes on, usually I'll write down notes of the stuff that I have to do. So at night before I go to bed, I grab my phone and I use an app called Awesome Note. And I literally built, I put everything that I need to get done the next day in my task list. And I basically set alarms for when they need to be done. And um, that is very important to me because it actually, it, because I put it as a task, it actually stays on my home screen until I complete it. And it's literally I have to swipe it and mark complete it if not it's going to stay on my screen so it kind of gives me that uh, that push or that kick in the butt to get stuff done because every time I look at my phone I'll see what I have to do and it kind of makes it a no matter what and the fact that I actually set an alarm for it gives me even more that little extra push to actually get it done so um, that is the first thing that I do the second thing that I do that I find really helps me get stuff done is um, I turn off all my notifications. And I'm not kidding, the only thing that I keep on my phone is alarms and phone calls. And that being said, when I first started with coaching, I was getting so many notifications and so many messages and emails that I was constantly checking my phone and I found that it took me away from my home life, it took me away from just my life in general. So I made that decision to just turn all my notifications off and I give myself allowed times to check my messages. I know it could sound anal, but it could be like I'm in a lineup at Starbucks and I have five minutes to wait, I'm going to use that time to check my messages. It could be that I have half an hour blocked between having to go pick up my son and my daughter taking a nap. I'll take that half hour and I'll check all my notifications and my messages, etc. That I found uh, has been so helpful and it helps me stay focused on that one thing at a time because we are so overwhelmed with information these days. We have so much going on on a daily basis. We're always multitasking, trying to accomplish as much as we can. And I feel like because we do that so much, our value actually decreases. So to be so for me to be able to stay focused on that one thing, I really feel like I have to um, manage my time and I make that task list and I literally tackle that task list to a T and as I do not move on to the next one until it's completed. And that really helps with me with my focus. And I'm not gonna lie, I pissed off a lot of people when I turned my notifications off. I had a lot of messages like, oh, how come you're not answering me? Are you mad at me? Like, what's your problem, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, no, I'm just kind of taking my life into my own hands. Um, you know, my notifications are off. If I'm not answering within the first uh, two seconds that you sent me the message, I apologize. But I have my important things, my priorities, my goals in my life. And for me, tackling those on head first is the important thing for me. So do it guys, turn your no notifications off, set yourself allowed times and just get it done that way. Focus on one task at a time, your alarm's gonna go off. Um, you know you know that there's certain things that you absolutely need to be done at a specific time, that's what I use the alarm for. If it's just something that needs to be accomplished throughout the day, I don't set an alarm, uh, but it will stay on my screen until it's completed. So I even put my workout in there, I put, um, whether it's to go grocery shopping, it could be anything. I have such a mommy brain that if I don't put it in my notifications, in my calendar, I'm going to forget about it. It could be even just call mom. I'm going to set a notification to call mom with an alarm on it. And when the phone goes off, I'm like, oh yeah, I have to call my mom. Right? Kind of thing. So that has tremendously helped me. And honestly, guys, um, 
for me, especially when it comes to my workout, there's nothing I love more than waking up and going for a run or getting my workout in. It's very important to me. And I've really noticed that the days that I'm like overwhelmed with so much information and I'm like, oh, I'll do it later this afternoon. I'm not going to do it this afternoon. So I really have to make it a no matter what for myself, for my health, for my fitness to do it first thing in the morning. So I, yes, I do actually wake up at four o'clock in the morning from four to five is what I call my miracle morning. It's my me time. I make a coffee. I sit down. I write down in my journal because I basically brain dump everything that I have on my mind, everything that I have to do that day. Uh, I write affirmations, just anything that kind of comes out that either is on my mind or positive affirmations, whatever it may be, goals, objectives. I write it all down. After that, I take some time for myself to read. So whether it's a business development book or a personal development book or even sometimes just like the new Harry Potter that came out, it doesn't matter what it is, I take some time for me. And I do that till five o'clock in the morning and then at 5 a.m. I go for my run. And I know that if I don't do it at 5 a.m., I'm not gonna do it. And for example, this morning, I missed, I missed a workout, which is very, very, very rare at the beginning of the week. We were traveling and all sorts of stuff and it just didn't happen. I was pretty upset about it and uh, I said, okay, I'm gonna do a double workout today. So I woke up, did all my stuff and instead of going for my run this morning, I said, okay, I'm gonna do a double workout. So of course I get my first workout done. Both kids end up waking up and when I have my kids up, they're like literally jumping on my back and it's nearly impossible to get my workout done. So I said, okay, gonna keep going with my day and gonna do that double workout. And so I think you guys know already that as the day goes on, there's more stuff and more stuff and more stuff that keep appearing and that keep happening and always push what we really want a little backwards and a little further down the road. And we always say, oh, we'll do it later, we'll do it later. By the time all the kids are in bed and you actually have time for yourself, then you are way too tired and all you wanna do is sit down and lift your feet up. So to prevent that guys, make it a no matter what and just do it first thing in the morning. You're, it's going to take away all that pressure. You're going to be so much more energized, so much more focused, and you'll actually be proud of yourself for having accomplished something like that. And you're going to have that energy and that drive to propel you through the, the entire rest of your day. And it's going to take away a lot of that pressure and a lot of that like self-sabotaging of, oh, I didn't do it again today that I suck, or I'm going to do it another day, or I'm going to, no. no. And the last point that I want to make for you guys is break stuff down in baby steps. I don't know about you guys, but when you look at a huge task that you have to do, like for example, me moving uh, with two kids and a business to run, two businesses to run, my husband has one as well. I am so overwhelmed with everything I've, I have to do. And I feel like if I look at the big picture too much, that's when I get overwhelmed and I get anxiety. So what I have done and what really helps me is breaking everything down in baby steps. Take it baby step after baby step, pick one room a day, and I literally did this in my calendar, as I do always with my task list. I literally picked one room every day, and you put it in your calendar, and you say, okay, today I'm gonna focus on the baby's room. So I'm gonna pack everything I can in the baby's room. Tomorrow, my son's room. Focus on everything in my son's room. And you break it down by smaller objectives, smaller goals. And it's so much easier to accomplish that. And if you finish it earlier and you still have time, then you can tackle the next one. But by breaking it down in smaller objectives like that, it makes it so much easier to grasp. It's a lot less overwhelming. And when you actually accomplish it, you feel that much more positive to be able to tackle on the next problem. Um, it's the same for your business. It's the same for everything in your life. Um, you know, for me, if... I have my workout to do. Um, I like to make videos like this for you guys. Um, I, I interact with my challengers. I interact with my coaches. I interact in my challenge groups. Like I have a lot of the stuff that I need to get done. And if I think of the big picture, I'll get overwhelmed. So, you know, every time my daughter goes down for a nap, I'm like, okay, what's up? What's first? I look at my task list. Okay, I'm going to tackle that. And then I tackle it. If I have time, then I go to the second thing, etc., etc. You guys always work by priorities and by what needs to be due now, what can wait, what's most important, what's going to bring you closer to your goals or your priorities. 
as I was mentioning, for me, right now, it's moving next week. So I obviously have a lot of stuff to do. Uh, you guys are going to notice I'm not as present on social media. Uh, that's because right now my life is trying to pack this house with the two kids and getting stuff done and getting my workout in and still, you know, doing some personal development and some me stuff. So I'm not as present on social media, but at least I know where my goals and my priorities are and I'm breaking it down in smaller goals and I'm still kind of showing up and giving you guys as much as I can. So that's how I manage to get my stuff done and stay organized and I highly recommend that app for anybody that needs kind of a little bit of help getting organized it's called awesome note or a note and you can have uh, it's it's miraculous so the other the other tool that I use is um, it's called 3030 and it's a countdown you literally can put like everything that you need to do and you can set yourself timers and because it's so easy guys when you're on social media and you know you're, you're there's so much stuff going on, on Facebook on Instagram on snapchat and next thing you know, it's like three hours later and you've wasted all that time that you could have accomplished so many more things and you've wasted it all on social media. So by setting that timer and it beeps at the end, you're like, oh, well, time's up. You know, if you give yourself 10 minutes to scroll Facebook, then when the timer goes up, oh, you're done. It's time to move on to the next thing. So I hope that that was helpful. Have an amazing day and I will be chatting with you guys a little later.